On April 15, 1978, Squaw Valley Ski Resort would experience its worst disaster in its 73-year history when what was described as an act of God trapped 44 passengers in a tram high above the slopes in blizzard-like conditions. As the ski day was coming to an end, the red tram was making its final descent of the season. Conditions had been poor to say the least, as winds were brutal and the snow was coming down heavy. But the day had gone smooth so far for the young tram operator that was driving the tram for the first time by himself. As the tram approached Tower 2, the wind began to pick up, causing the tram to sway. Reverting back to his training, the driver hit the brakes, so he would avoid colliding with the tower. But as the driver hit the brakes, a huge gust of wind slammed into the tram, dislodging it from one of its support cables, causing it to free fall 75 feet before snapping back up like a yo-yo, headed directly for the 17-ton cable that was now hanging freely above. As the cable made contact with the tram, it sliced through its metal walls like a can opener, ripping off part of the door and pinning 12 skiers to the floor, three of which died instantly, as well as injuring many more. The collision was so powerful, it ejected one of the skiers, sending him flying to the slopes below, where he amazingly walked away with only a broken rib. Ski Patrol quickly arrived at the accident and managed to climb up the tram with only a nylon rope and assess the grim situation inside, knowing they had to move quickly because the tram could fall from its single support line. They first lowered all the skiers that were free from the cable. They then had to figure out how to move a 17-ton cable to free the remaining survivors. Using a winch, they created just enough room to allow some of the survivors to free themselves and be lowered to safety, except for one who would be trapped for almost seven hours and would end up passing away while en route to the hospital. Over 300 volunteers would come together to help the skiers in a rescue that would take over 10 hours and would end up being Squaw Valley's worst accident in history. Squaw Valley was finally able to remove the tram three months later after the free hanging support cable was securely put back in place and they replaced the tram the following winter with its first run being in January 1979. The tram system was upgraded in 1998 and Squaw Valley has maintained a perfect tram safety record ever since.